Okay, so today we have got a Burger King mukbang. Uh, a lot of you have been requesting me to actually make yet another mukbang with Brendan, aka my neighbor, aka my friend. I don't think he has to really introduce himself, but if you still want to introduce yourself, go ahead and tell you are oh, my man. My name is Brandon, and um, I am his neighbor, uh, and I'm gonna make a video with um, Keegan uh, on Burger King. Uh. Hell yeah, man! So I honestly just can't find the chair that is suitable for me to sit on. So. Um, I need to sit on the floor, but but it's still good. So, uh, do you want to explain what you have, or should I like? I have a veggie burger and yeah. these um, ringed up uh, chips. Uh, Just the fries, I think. And they are chips. So this is your first time having the. I actually asked him in, if he wanted in this video to try out the vegan burger of Burger King, and he said he he didn't mind. He wanted to. So, I'm actually curious how you, if you're gonna like it. It yeah. is going to have a different taste. So let's do this. Okay. I'm first gonna not yet gonna do burger because I'm interested on in taste. You want it? Mm. I'm, I'm later. I'm gonna try the burger. That's cool. Because I just want to keep it like fries. So we got some chili cheese nuggets. Um, I have also got the vegan burger, but then the menu we both have got two large iced teas, which are quite small in in the Netherlands. Did you know actually in America they got uh, one liter of of, of soda? Do you know that? Dude, that's crazy. If you're wondering why we are sweating, it is super warm in the attic. We're actually recording in the attic. We have a fan above our head, which is kind of not working. Had to close the window just for sound, you know. I hope the sound is good in this video. And if it's not, just adjusting the audio. Yeah, it's um, 22 degrees or something. It's very warm here, man. Yeah. I don't actually like this ketchup a lot. Do you want to taste it? It actually, it's too watery for me. Do you like oh. it? Oh. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's not really my kind it's of... It's like liquid. Exactly. I'm used to biological ketchup with none of, you know, it's still with additives on a bottle. This is not my kind of thing. Yeah. That's not the good uh, It's not really that good. No. Mm. Yeah. People are uh, just sitting there on their... Uh, huh things and then just the oh. sunbathing you've got to try these twister fries man they are pretty they're actually not bad you know what i'm gonna just keep it real i'm gonna eat my burger ready because you, you want some more chili cheese nuggets mm. these are vegetarian by the way obviously all right i'm gonna try them okay here you go you do not know what it looks like it just looks real but it's actually vegan First look on this, it looks like a real burger. It does, right? Especially the fact that it's got the smokiness of a burger. You gotta try it right now. Come on, do it for the boys. Okay. I want your honest opinion, like, if you think it's good. Okay, three, two, one. What do you think? I don't like the pickles. I'm just gonna remove them right away. I don't like pickles, right? Alright, <laughs> let me process it. It's weird, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It tastes really like a normal burger. Exactly. It's the same almost. It tastes, I think because of the fact that it's got a, just kind of like real beef as well on the side. Oh, sorry for that, uh, for touching the food, my bad. Um, uh, like the beef as well, it's got like the exact same on the side as well, where it looks and presents like real beef and... It also smells a bit like real beef. I don't know if you smelled it yet. I have. But if you smell closely, you can't smell it a bit. I cannot because of the sauce and all. No. Oh. Well, goddamn. Goddamn me, boy. I can smell it. Mm. I like the burger. It's good, huh? Mm hmm. I honestly just personally don't really get why they put goddamn pickles on burgers. Why do y'all do this? Why do you. Haunt of Pickle. people that don't like pickles. You don't like them at all. No, you and see? I just bit one. Nasty, yeah. I think it's, it's sour. I think it's because they're too thin and they're just not fresh. No. Hmm. Hmm. The onion rings are good. Hmm. I might eat this more often. So should you actually prefer this burger? Over a regular beef burger. Mm -hmm. No way. 
I'm, I'm serious. You, you can't, really. I'm, I'm serious. Okay. The Virgin King is surprised. I didn't actually expect that at all. I'm actually... Okay. Huh. We did it, boys. He's vegetarian. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're not making him vegetarian, but... He willingly said, yes, he wanted to try this burger out. Because this is... I think I'm asking it again. Your first time trying this burger, right? First time. Mm. Nice. How do you call this chips? What costume is that? This is a rest of. This is just literally. It's more like fried chicken, actually. Than, than, but it's not. Look at this! That is dried. I'm guessing that's kind of the last piece they had left in the in the, in the the big thing with the fries. Yeah. I'm just guessing, you know. Don't know. To be quite fair, I've always been a huge fan of these chili cheese nuggets. I think they're quite nice in my opinion. Um, it's just, it's got a nice amount of cheese in it and not too much jalapeno peppers, you know what I mean? It's just jalapeno. You didn't know that? No, no look. Well. You can see them. I don't think it's jalapeno, but it's definitely something spicy like I a chili. I think it's just a normal pepper. I agree. No, because a normal pepper in, in English is uh, paprika, we call it, is a, is, a, is a pepper bell, I think, in America. Oh, pepper bell, yeah, pepper bell. So this is, I think, a chili or something. Can I just ask you something? Yeah. So, it was your birthday a couple of days ago, right? Yeah. Now, I've seen on your mukbang with your friends, you know, the McDonald's one that you made on your birthday. Yeah. Just the crazy amount of people that say and compliment your English, you know, how good it is. I've never actually, I think, asked you this, but how come your English is so good? Because your English on your age was better than at my age when I was yours. Like, how is it so... It's not the best, but it's actually pretty good for... How old are you? Ten? Ten, yeah. For a ten-year-old, maybe you want to explain to them how it's like good, like really good, because you are a foreigner. I mean, that, that got, there has to be reasons for that. Do you have English te teachers on school, or mm -hmm. I do. they teach you but, English? No, nah, but I do not have them uh, all the time. I did not learn them from them. I I I, I, I knew English before they teach me. So I'm guessing you learned it from Queenie, the ogre. Yeah. Well, much love to Queenie. She bought us these. She bought us this amazing, delicious food. She actually buys a lot for us. It's actually crazy. She's not even my real mother, but you'll be surprised when I whenever I come over to that house. You know, they always just goddamn give me a drink, food. She makes me food. Well, I kind of ask her if I can have some noodles. She always has noodles in the house. I've noticed. You guys always have a pack of noodles here, like standard in this house. I've realized. Yeah. It's really nice. When we go to the like the shop, mm. uh, like the supermarket, we. My, I notice my mother always buys buys the pack of noodles that you like. Um, the udon, yeah. the white one, the Japanese. Yeah, that that definitely the best. So a little bit on the pricey side because you don't, because you know like noodles like the big amount, large, you can get for like a euro, two euro, like five hundred grams or something, or less than that, but a lot. These udon noodles are imported from Japan. No, but they are really cheap, actually. Well, I kind of have. They, well, they are a euro, and you've got to realize they're just they are a different kind of type of noodle because this noodle isn't made or bind with any products that comes from an animal. So the noodle itself is actually 100% vegan, which is quite interesting, or, or at least vegetarian. Maybe could contain you know, but um, there's no egg or milk in it. Which most noodles they've got milk and well, actually I think most noodles are actually made out of egg, not really milk. No. I just don't get why you would put milk in noodles. That's kind of nasty. <laughs> but some people like it. I don't know who, but crazy. It is. So how's school been going? Um, not good. Why? The What's going on? Tell. Teachers are irritating me. Well, when are they not? Just to be quite fair with you, let me guess. They moan for nothing. At least at your at your age, you look at it as moaning. But when you grow up, you realize maybe they weren't moaning. Maybe they were teaching me. No, but like <laughs> when someone talks to me, I always get the blame. Okay, what's the last uh, thing you can remember where your teacher had told told you something where you thought she's moaning, like the today. last incident? Okay, what happened today? Like my friend was talking to me. Yeah. Uh, for a while. Yeah. And um. I got the blame because 
uh, he was sitting in a posi position where the teacher could not see me. That where the teacher could not see him. So he was in a, like a corner. Yeah. Th wait, how many kids do you guys have in class? Like, how many kids are you uh, seated? Sixty-two in class. Sixty-two. <laughs> like in, in the in the like the. God, for them it's real. No, I mean like in group <laughs> six, uh, <coughs> seven and eight. No, I mean just your class. Oh, I don't know. I that's just I, I've heard from some schools they got like uh, like forty or fifty kids in one class. It's just, pff, I do not get how you can do that. But I I think like the whole school is like somewhere around hundred. That's actually just not a lot at all. I think my school had kind of like around I I want to say because this is just a crazy thing. We had people at our school. Um, you've got you had bases which is basic. Then you had bases scar that you probably don't know what it is. But you'll just find out what this all means later. You had Bastos, Bastos, and then you had Vambi Hotel, which is the one that I did. Now, there was this one year, like whole year, where on a Wednesday and on a Thursday, I swear to God, the third and the second were not there. So you only had the first graders, which were one, two classes. And then you just only had us with another class, but that was like half because there was just kids that had homework and stuff like that. So I think at a lucky day, nice chill Friday, I swear to God, we maybe were with... 25 max 30 max Can you just imagine god can you imagine the peace and quiet now the nice thing is why i like that so much is because the kids that had bosses and bosses card they were required to find uh not i don't actually know if they were supposed to get paid for it, but uh when you do bosses and bosses card at least on our school i've got no clue how they do it at your school if you're dutch or your nails man i'm waiting in comments but you do but at our school they they you were required to uh, go two days a week um not kind of like volunteer but just work like you can go to the plus whatever kind of work right and you had to require a certain amount of minimum hours a year for you to actually go over to the next class year so it wasn't just grades it wasn't actually matter of fact grades that, that counted at all it was actually you had to at least from what i heard is 240 hours minimum this to get over you like the noodles i ate downstairs what <laughs> yeah, the meat. Noodles. So, like everything, like combined together, it tastes really. Noodles. Yeah, like and we have like different packs of noodles, and one of them tastes like this. Beef. Mm, it was I don't know. Beef flavor. No, but this really tastes like one of them. Okay, never heard that that a hamburger tastes like noodles. That is a interesting one, I think. I think you never eat. I ate that noodles. No, I don't eat uh, noodles with beef or chicken flavor because I don't know if it's vegetarian. I don't know. That's the whole. That's the whole thing. I don't know if it's suitable. But okay, if I can just ask you one question now before we're going to end this mukbang. Mm -hmm. Who's your? Who's the person in class? It could be a teacher or a, a, a kid. Doesn't necessarily have to be a friend. Name one, or not. Well, you can name, you can put names, I guess, but just, you know, don't say what school, obviously. Uh, you, tell me your, the one person you like the most in, cl in class and the one person you like the least. Not necessarily hate, like but just friends. That, you know, the, the, someone like that. Doesn't necessarily have to be friends, though. You know. who's, who's someone you like the most and someone you like not Gabriel, the um, Elytra, um Keegan, yes. Keegan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I'm number one though. Hey, don't don't take my spot, man. Um, this is my homeboy. A fear and time. Okay, wait. Didn't I see those uh, guys a couple of days ago here? Yeah. Oh, they were. Oh, they those were just. Were oh, well, those. Oh. All of them. No offense, but that one kid looks like a girl. I'm sorry if you're watching this garden video. You look like a girl. I'm sorry, man. No, you look like a girl. Only his hair. Yeah, no, but I thought. Oh shit, you, you got a girl here. Oh god, it's a guy. What? I really was quite genuinely surprised. Like, oh, I thought it was a girl. Who's someone you don't like or don't talk to at all in class? Uh, Who do you despise? You like, just can't stand. Oh yeah. Uh, can funny. be your teachers, bro. It can be anyone. Uh, it's one of my teachers and uh, <laughs> classmate. Okay, don't, uh, don't, don't. Classmate don't, is Jesse. Don't name drop the teacher though. <laughs> Ain't trying to get sued by your school, man. Well, name drop it. Who cares? We'll fight them. We got we got enough bread. I said, uh, that name is very hard. Because I got two like almost the same names, and I keep forgetting her name. Okay, what does she look like? Brown hair. She's single. No. 
She has a, she has a kid. Yeah, what a shame. She what? <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. She's you like, gotta, gotta teach him young. You know how old is she? Um, I don't know. Oh, you gotta learn from the old ones, I suppose. <laughs> He's not stupid. You'd be quite surprised what this kid does after his videos, behind the scenes. We can't disclose what he does just to prevent from getting demonetized. But I think you can have a pr pretty good clue and insight on what he does. What I used to do in his age as well. What do you mean? <laughs> you don't. You definitely know what, what I'm. Mean? Nothing else. I'll say. I'll tell you after the video. Shall we end? Uh, okay. Whoa. All We're right. Let's go, Landers. Yay. Yeah. I actually haven't played a game in a long time. Wait. Let me get the PlayStation. It's right there. This is the PS3. Okay. We're going to end this video. Go down. Go, get over here, boy. <laughs> say something right now. Bye. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang video. New video on Keegan Spark is coming out tomorrow. Hey, don't do that, man. <laughs> Check out later, man. Peace I, out. I'm spying on people. <laughs>